hi everyone welcome to our new video today we're going to show you how to connect a network printer uh, we're going to use hp um, how to set up a network printer this time we're going to use a hp uh, laser jet 500 so what you do you go to your windows you look for <coughs> command prompt then we say ip config config once you do that it's gonna give you this you save this gateway uh, you save this 255 the subnet okay then you go to your printer but first of all you make sure the printer is connected to with a cable with to a hub or a router so we wanted just the IP, those IP addresses okay so you can see it's connected now here um and this then the router is connected the, 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 the router is connected to the hub then this com computer is connected to the hub also so what you do you come here you scroll and look for settings then you look for network then you look for Okay, no, not that. First one. There, that's when you look for IP. Then you say host name. Then you say IPv4. IPv4, instead of saying default, let's say config method. Okay. Then you put it in manual. After putting it manual, then you go to default IP. Legacy or auto IP, we say legacy. Then say and go there. Okay, we leave that. Clicking on each and everything, you're gonna see where we're gonna primary. So you see it this is the default DSN. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay. Um, let me see. But this is our gateway. So, if you want to set the secondary, you say this machine, the way it looks like it's, it's set up itself already. You don't need to do anything. Let me just say, okay. Let me see. If it doesn't work, then we can try to set it up. I though I think since it's Windows 10 and everything, you don't need anything. So when you do, you go here. You don't need to do anything, I'm sure. So you look for um, what they call control panel. Here we go. Then look for devices and printers here. Then we can look for Ed printer. You can see it came. So it means you don't need to put a what? You don't need to put IP or what it set up itself so you just have to connect it to the hub so let me select this and say next or oh, whatever I did on the machine don't do it for now because once you connect it, it's gonna auto 
do what you want. But if you may be using Windows 7, then you can try to do what I try to do. Okay. Downloaded the drivers. Well, let's see properties. Okay. So also it's here already. Let's try to see. Okay. You see it came here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say save as default. After that, I'm going to connect and print something. I'm going to say mm Okay, it gets get me get, give me some error, it's fine. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna and I'm, I'm gonna print now. Let me try to get word document. Okay, so PDF. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay. It has some issues, which is okay. Uh, I wonder why. But I can come here and say properties. Then can select the second one and say okay. Try to print again. Okay, if it doesn't work, what we're gonna do, we're gonna just switch off the machine and switch it back on. I mean the computer and also and also we're gonna switch off this and back.